Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got another mailbox for you. And this is from my customer here in California, and I've got quite a few. He's the the guy that I do quite a bit of neato stuff for, and so he sent me a box of some stuff to do, to a bunch of different things in a box to do for him. So let's get right to it, okay? Let's just kind of slowly <laughs> pour it out. Make sure that I'm not hitting the camera. All right. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff in here for sure. Let's, let's, I didn't realize, I haven't completely opened this box yet, so I didn't realize what is going on. Now, the first one, you know, this one, for some reason, you know, every once in a while, you know, we build one and it just wants to keep on coming home. And this is one of them. We've had a lot of problems with these DYS SE 1407s. So I would, um, they are on my bucket list, meaning they're going to go in the bucket, the trash bucket, because um, at least with this batch that we got here, now I put them on other builds and they've been fine, but I don't know if they've changed things but they are really fragile he took a little bit of a hit on this one and the motor um the motor just completely came apart now we also had a problem where i just fixed like literally days before he had this happened i'd fixed one over here that had a problem with stator wires touching and so um, we're going to upgrade, and this is going to get not only a durability upgrade, but it's going to get a power upgrade. And we're going to go to the Pyro Drone 1407, their Team Edition 1407, which is basically the Tornado 1407, super powerful little tornado little um, motor and really nice and durable so we're going to upgrade that that means this is going to have to be totally retuned and um, but it's going to be it'll be a different beast for sure because it had good power with these 1407s from dys these race editions but it'll have it'll feel more really a lot like a five inch once you get the um the tornadoes so that's what's going on there let me see here. I see we have a remote. And, excuse me, sorry about that, guys. And so, obviously, it says JJ Pro on it. And I didn't know about this. Um, and I did contact him because I did see this in the box before I did the video. I didn't open it all the way up, but this was on the top. This is um, a JJ Pro. I believe this is the... 170 let me see put a five inch prop on there yeah this is the 170 and um this is meant to swing not a five inch as you can see but a four inch prop and got the nice emax red bottoms which are just kind of the workhorse of the industry um they just they're a great motor they're not the most powerful thing out there but they work. So I guess I contacted him and he said he was having a problem with it just binding. So he's never actually even flown this. So we're going to get it bound. Um, I probably will be do a little bit of tuning for him just to, if I've got to bind it, I might as well tune it too, right? So that's that. That's what the radio's for. And I think, let's see, is that it? There's some miscellaneous little batteries in here that we're going to be changing the connector on and that's about it and then some miscellaneous parts so that's what's in the mailbox today all from one customer i just wanted to confirm that that was everything that was in there yeah there was just another battery that needed to be rewired and that's it on this one guys thanks again another mailbox for you check out my website at xframesfpv.com and you can see builds i've done some updating um, you know, I am offering training. Uh, the training that I do is a one-on-one -on -one training for people who are trying to get um, some, you know, learn how to fly. Maybe it's their first time flying, that kind of stuff. You can check it all out on the website. Guys, appreciate you. Hope you get some time to fly. 